guys, today I'm going to show you how to install Yuzu the Nintendo Switch emulator for PC. So first, you're going to want to open up your browser. And then you want to uh, type in Yuzu. Just like this. Okay? And then, you'll see yuzuemulators.com. Not this Yuzu emulator, yuzuemulators.com, just like this. Now, this is the official... Um, website but it doesn't work anymore uh, for some reason and um yeah this is just the new version actually so yeah let's just open this and as you can see there are three versions so there are uh download for windows download for linux and download for android so android is just for mobile so yeah that's just for mobile for Linux and Android, since I'm on um wind uh since I'm on uh Windows and uh yeah then I'm just gonna hit Windows. So uh you're just gonna want to close these tabs, uh all the ads and stuff, and then you're just gonna want to click Windows again. And then you'll uh, want to put it somewhere like your desktop or something, but. Yeah, I'm not going to download it since I already have it, so, yeah. Alright guys, so after you have downloaded the um, file, you're just going to want to extract it with, uh, either, with either 7-zip or WinRAR. So, I have the official Yuzu, so I'm just going to show you guys uh, how my official Yuzu uh, file location looks. So, you're just going to, uh, when you have extracted it, you're just gonna want to um, look for this application, okay? It's not called maintenance tool, it's just called Yuzu. Um, and yeah, you're just gonna want to double click that to open it, and yeah, then it's just gonna look like the official Yuzu launcher, cause it is. Um, so yeah, let's just uh, open this up, and yeah. So when you open it uh, for the first time, you are you are going to see some stuff like NAND and all that stuff. You don't have to worry about that. You can just close those uh, tabs and stuff. Okay? Now, um, when you have closed that, you're just going to want to go to uh, Emulation and Configure to go to Settings. So, um, you're going to want to go to... Um, Oh, you're gonna to want to go through all of these basically, because it's gonna be pretty important for the performance of your games. So, yeah, controller uh, controls is the most um, important, because you're gonna to want to need it to play. It. You're you're gonna to need to play it. Um, you just play. It. And there is any keyboard uh, only and keyboard and mouse. There, uh, if you have a controller, please use that because it's probably the best option you can get. Now, uh, if you have a controller, use handheld uh, for like Pokemon games or use Pro Controller. That's what I'm going to use, Pro Controller. And I'm just going to uh, connect my controller real quick. Just like that. Boom. Just like that. And now... You're going to uh, have to put in, you, you'll see here, any, just use any, or, yeah. Uh, now, I have uh, a preset profile, so if you want to make a new uh, profile, since you, have, uh, you haven't done this before, you're going to want to put uh, in new, and then you'll see here, about here. Uh, in the center, you're gonna see um, like put in a profile name or whatever, and it's going to have everything like that, and it's gonna put in everything. Yeah, just uh, name. I named my PC, uh, so yeah, that's basically it. Uh, if you have put in Xbox controller like that, if you have an Xbox controller or PlayStation, you just click that the name. And then it's going to uh, automatically put in every single of these to your controller. There is a few that it's going to leave blank because you don't have enough buttons for it. But if you have like back buttons, it's probably going to have enough. It, uh, you just, it just depends. And then 
when you're done, you're just going to want to hit OK. Or if you have put in a profile, save and then OK. And yeah, uh, if you have a game, if you know where to get Nintendo Switch games, you're just going to want to um, ha open the, the game directory. I'll show you guys in a second. But if you don't have a game, then uh, just go to Google and search uh, Nintendo Switch ROMs free because i can't show you guys uh, that's just yeah i just can't so show you guys but yeah if you have one if you're searched and you have one that you want to play you can just go to game directory and then just search for your game and then um like mine here is by my elements drive it's here by nintendo switch games so if you you have to extract the games and then you can uh just open it and say select folder like that. Now I have all my Nintendo Switch games here, but today I'm gonna show you guys just an uh, Detective Pikachu Returns. So yeah, it it's one hundred percent. It just depends uh if the game's popular or not, cause it can have like compatibility issues, but. The games I have is pretty popular, so it doesn't have that many issues. So, yeah, that's basically it. Boom. Game works perfectly fine, as you guys can see here. Boom. It's the menu. I'm using my controller here, right here. Boom. Story jump mode. Settings work. See you guys. Boom. So, yeah, that's basically it for you, Zoom. So guys make sure to like subscribe to the channel and please make sure to leave a comment and yeah i'll see you guys in the next video peace out guys